wouldn't want to sit and talk to lion well, trash Well, I think like that's you. sad. I think we should have called the lion. Yeah, not good. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British TV moments that caused major outrage. This is great TV, but this is not good for me. I don't like this. Susie. Why are you looking so shocked? I mean, that's, I'm, I'm not sure you... They always you know, stop for hours. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most controversial and scandalous scenes ever to air on British TV. Let us know in the comments which one would have you writing to Ofcom. Number 10. Piers Morgan vs. Helen Watley Good Morning Britain I don't know why you're laughing. Why are you laughing? Well, oh, because I can't see it. You well, I'm telling you what it is. It's actually very serious. This explosive interview on Good Morning Britain in April 2020 was so controversial, it led to Downing Street banning senior ministers from making an appearance for months, and Piers Morgan himself being prevented from attending the government's press briefings. So the, the, the latest information we have for um, NHS workers is that 19 NHS workers That's have complete nonsense. Sadly. Questioning Care Minister Helen Watley about the high number of deaths in care homes due to mismanagement of the global pandemic, Watley ended up laughing and trying to dodge Pierce's questions about the many unnecessary fatalities. I think it's really, really important to take the steps that we no, can. I'll tell you what's really important is that you just answer straight questions. Is it yeah, true um, that 4,000 people... Why are you laughing? What's I'm coming to ask you a question, but I, I'm not... I'm, it's what, just what do you find really funny about, about this? Piers was later hit with thousands of Ofcom complaints about his notoriously aggressive interview style, though neither he nor Watley came out of the clip looking good. Number 9. Drag Performance – Strictly Come Dancing 2020's musical-themed week was opened with a dance routine inspired by Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, a 2006 musical based on a 1994 film about a group of drag queens driving through the outback. Give me a break. I was never that famous. I'm not joking. But the performance received about a hundred Ofcom complaints from people claiming the musical was inappropriate because Strictly is a family show. Strictly producers hit back by saying the show is, and always has been, inclusive. Just a few months earlier, though, it was hit with even more complaints about having a same-sex dance partnership. And in 2019, a one-off same-sex routine ruffled feathers as well. In all cases, the BBC was cleared of any wrongdoing. Number 8. Kim and Colleen reunite. Loose women. I know what I went through. No, let her rant on. I know what I went through. Mm -hmm. Awful. It was Why awful do you what you went through, Kim. Us. Colleen Nolan was voted the winner of the 19th series of Celebrity Big Brother, and ex-housemate Kim Woodburn, whose time in the house was more than a little inflammatory, didn't keep her anger to herself. They were bitter rivals during CBB, with Kim accusing Colleen of being two-faced. But far more outrageous than anything that happened in the house was when ITV staged a reunion of Kim and Colleen on Loose Women. You know what you did, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. i tell you what I did. Yeah, I, I just didn't tell you how vile you are from day no. one. That's you what my I should have done. You're, my dear. You're a horrible, <laughs> self-centered, you publicity-seeking witch. No. No. Janet Street Porter was the judge trying to put an end to the feud. But things didn't go as planned. I don't want to draw a line on you. You don't want to. I will never you. forget what the likes of her and seven others put me through. Okay, well. I'll you... never forget it. Never. But um, Kim, it was every sad real... and awful, and it was bloody cool. Suffice to say, Kim wasn't actually interested in reconciliation and walked off set. I wouldn't want to sit and talk to lions. Well, trash I think like that's you. sad. I think we should have gone oh, yeah, no. Both of them were on the verge of tears by the end. Number 7. Diversity's Tribute to BLM – Britain's Got Talent After making their name on Britain's Got Talent back in 2009, London-based dance troupe Diversity returned to the show to perform over 10 years later. Another disease, deep-rooted in our system. Fear, hate and ignorance, but racism was the symptom. But thousands of viewers had a problem with the issues Diversity raised in their performance as they addressed the Black Lives Matter movement. But I think what they tried to do was well-intentioned but very misguided. And the British public have said, you know what, we don't want this. It was 
pre-watershed it was very violent it was you know portraying police brutality and the, the kneeling on necks and complaints claimed that the dance was offensive to white viewers and that it wasn't appropriate for family viewing with the tabloids also jumping on the story to lambast diversity for their stance ultimately ofcom cleared britain's got talent of any wrongdoing on the grounds of freedom of expression i mean we, we were climbing to the most complained about tv moment of the day i really wanted number one i felt like i was climbing the chart <laughs> <laughs> I really did, but we got to number two and then kind of Ofcom ruled that they weren't going to investigate. Wow. Number six, Clarkson on The One Show. The One Show. They just keep going. But they don't, they always stop in Reading. Why are you looking so shocked? I mean, that's, I'm, I'm not showing you. They always you know, stop for right. hours. <laughs> Though he's had a long and incredibly successful career in television, Jeremy Clarkson has been at the center of many, many controversies during his lifetime. But his comments on The One Show in 2011 were so extreme, he was forced to issue a public apology. But others, including many supporters of yesterday's strike, failed to see the funny side. They saw a combination of bad taste and a politically motivated attack. He started out by saying people who end their lives by jumping in front of trains are selfish and ended with some now notorious remarks that workers carrying out industrial action in the 2011 public sector strikes should be executed. I mean, how dare they go on strike when they've got these gilt-edged pensions that are going to be yeah. guaranteed while the rest of us have to work for a living? Clarkson amassed an immense 21,000 complaints to Ofcom. The one show itself also had to apologize to the trade unions organizing the strike. Number 5. EastEnders Baby Swap EastEnders the soaps have a long history of tackling current affairs and real-world issues, including one contentious storyline tackling sudden infant death syndrome. Come on now, open your eyes. When Kat and Ronnie both gave birth in the same episode, Ronnie's baby died of cot death, leading her to actually switch the two babies and steal Kat's son, Tommy. Don't cry. The backlash to EastEnders was so huge that there were even rumours actors might quit the show. That's not my baby! Oh, come on. That's not my baby! That's not my baby! The storyline was criticised both for being an extremely distressing plot to air pre-Watershed and for being medically inaccurate. But remarkably, despite over 13,000 complaints, the BBC was cleared of wrongdoing. But like never I can. <sighs> Number 4. Race Row – Celebrity Big Brother Many TV controversies are a lot of fuss over nothing, with Ofcom rarely actually getting involved. But this was not the case for the fifth series of Celebrity Big Brother, which landed Channel 4 in hot water. You're a normal house, mate, like everybody else. Everybody else, and you need to come to terms with that. And don't lie. Don't lie about things. Why come and say, the only thing I ordered was Oxo cubes? Why lie? Why lie? Indian contestant and eventual winner Shilpa Shetty received abuse from fellow housemates, most notably Jade Goody, Goody's family, and Danielle Lloyd. This is, getting, it's, this is great TV, but this is not good for me. I don't like this. Ofcom got involved, ultimately receiving over 44,000 complaints total, as did the police. It was even discussed by members of parliament. The scandal was so severe that Big Brother was only saved by being picked up by Channel 5 with Channel 4 unable to weather the storm. Princess, you said My name is Shilpa. Jackie, well, get I'm that sorry, right. I understand your name. Well, then get it. Number 3. Live Ghost Investigation – Ghost Watch Nowadays, paranormal TV shows are a common sight, with most of them taking quite a lot of liberties with the truth to try and scare the public. But in 1992, Ghost Watch was something people had never seen before. Susie. Stop it! Stop it, Susie! Set up like a live ghost investigation program, Ghost Watch was actually scripted and full of special effects. It was so convincing, hosted by credible broadcaster Michael Parkinson, viewers up and down the country believed what they were seeing, despite the fact it aired on Halloween. No! Go away! Mom, help me! Don't leave me, Mom! <coughs> Have we, have we lost the link completely? This led to tens of thousands of complaints from people extremely distressed by what they had witnessed, believing Parky really had been possessed on live TV, and Ghostwatch has never been rebroadcast.
Number 2. Chris Morris Gets in Trouble Brass Eye These are our children. They skip down our streets, but the pedophile is waiting. <laughs> One of the most controversial shows ever made, Chris Morris's magnum opus is still as hilariously offensive today as it was in the 90s. But 2001's one-off special, Peter Geddon, was so outrageous, it got the entire show canned forever by Channel 4. How brazen and shameless is the modern pedophile? Well, take a look at this card here. What sort of sick individual puts things like this up in a telephone box? What sort of thing was going through his mind? Lampooning the British press's obsession with uncovering and branding people as pedophiles, Morris managed to convince celebrities like Gary Lineker to repeat absolute nonsense along with creating iconic comedy sketches like the one disguised as a school. We're after your help too. Security footage of a paedophile disguised as a school. He's been getting away with it in Sheffield for 12 years. Do you know him? Have you seen him? Please call. 3,000 complaints made their way to Ofcom, and Morris also earned the ire of the very tabloids he was mocking, like the Daily Star and the Mail. Number 1. Punchgate – Celebrity Big Brother Are you alright? No, okay. I'm not. It wasn't player fighting. Show me here what he did. Okay. Oh, no! Yes. It's never been entirely clear why Roxanne Pallet decided to accuse housemate Ryan Thomas of physically assaulting her, but she definitely did and the fallout was extreme. Since the Big Brother house has cameras in every nook and cranny, the alleged incident was caught on tape, and everybody except Pallet was in agreement that Thomas did nothing wrong. Regardless, the next few days saw the show receive tens of thousands of complaints as Pallet tried to turn other housemates against Thomas. He's trying to manipulate them in thinking that I'm making this up, I'm not making it up. And he's tarnishing my reputation by saying this is an act. Eventually, she quit, and Thomas was the show's final ever winner before its cancellation. Though she wanted to end his career, she's the one who struggled to get out from the shadow of the accusation. All I can say is I'm... I'm devastated and I'm sorry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.